Welcome back to another episode of Your Daily Real Estate. I'm Tristan. This episode is brought to you by my book, Pick It Up. I'm excited because we finally finished the Audible. It will be out hopefully in the next 45 days, hopefully. Uh, and obviously, the book's available. Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, pick it up. If you've read it, please review it. Even if you didn't finish it, <laughs> I just need reviews. If you liked it, if you didn't, um, you know what, just message me. But let's talk about a meeting I had yesterday where my friend James Becker brought up these three points about becoming a better real estate agent, becoming a better leader in general. And he started off with one that was very reminiscent for me of Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett's business partner, who just passed away. Uh, just a few months ago. And my friend said this, he said, Tristan, fundamental number one, be the company that you would hire. I'm like, yeah, that, that makes sense. I love that one. I, I had heard it before, but as he's saying it, I'm thinking, man, what do I need to do? And as I'm saying that, I need you to think about it too. What do I need to do to be the company that I would hire? What are the processes I need in place? How do I need to function? How do I need to show up? What do I need to provide? It makes you think a lot more, doesn't it? Uh, at least it did for me. Number two, businesses grow through repetitive action and processes over a long period of time. And I think we tend to forget that, uh, especially with a more immediate gratification type culture where we're used to going to Amazon and ordering and getting here quickly or us going quickly somewhere and being able to order and getting it quickly. I think long, long time has passed where we would actually take a few days to get to where you were going or if you wrote a letter you would know that in some cases, months would go by before you received a letter back. We're in a world that gets things much quicker. And unfortunately, it's affected us internally as far as wanting to get results quickly. And if you've been in this business for a while, you know that it takes a while. If you're newer, you will find out it takes a while, but you have to be doing the right things. And that's taking action daily. And if you miss a day, go back to it the next day. And then building these processes out because the processes and the systems is what allows you to scale and grow and maintain this. Because as you bring people in, you're like, hey, this is the process I have for an open house. This is the process I have for calling online leads and so forth and so forth. So I really like that. And fundamental number three, your time is the greatest asset. So treat it that way. And for this one specifically, I thought a little bit more because he, he brought it up in a different way. He said, um, you know what? Time, the time you spend on certain things, you're never going to get back. So make sure that that time you're spending on whatever it is, is hopefully going to teach you something that's going to allow you to grow from there or you're spending the time on something that's going to bring you greater value financially, right? And a lot of the times we invest our time in, and we're talking business, obviously. I'm not saying, hey, don't, don't go and play, right? It's don't, don't spend time with your family. Nothing like that. This is just business, right? So when we're looking at what we're doing for our business, we really have to prioritize. We prioritize where we think we will be the most useful. What's our strength? If we apply our time here, what will it do on the way down? If we tackle this thing, will it help us out and create a domino effect to hit everything else that matters to us in our business? And I don't know that we look at it that way. It's almost reminiscent of the one thing, right? And uh, I think I did an episode on this with Curly from City Slickers when he held up his finger to Billy Crystal. Uh, which I don't know the character's name, but he said, oh, yeah, picked up his finger. He goes, this, this, this. And Billy Crystal's like, what's that? He's like, well, um, 
it's one thing. Whenever you find that one thing, everything else will matter. Everything else will become easier. Same thing here. Focus on those things that make you feel like this is it. This is going to be it. And make others feel like, damn, how does she, how does he get so much done? Well, it's because you're focusing on that thing that makes all the difference. Let's talk again.